Hello. In this video, what I want to do is kind of start at the foundation of search engine optimization. Uh, over the next few videos, what I want to start getting into is how to build a website, how to build a microsite using WordPress. Very simple to build. The main thing, though, is to have a general understanding of how you're going to build it before you start. And SEO is a great place to begin. Starting with the main objectives of this video, I want to go over the, the main concept of SEO. What does it take to SEO a site? And then on on-site versus off-site SEO and what are the, the general differences and, and what, are, what are the same? What are the similarities? So starting with page rank. Page rank is where SEO starts because that's what Google looks at. And you'll notice on this graph, the most powerful site here is this red site, that's site B. Site C is the next one after that. And then you can see the lesser important sites down below. You'll notice with this how the lesser important sites have no sites linking to them or fewer sites sites linking to them. And the sites with authority, like an E and an F site that you see here, the ones that are in green, yellow, and blue, those have a little bit more authority. And then if they link back to the, the bigger sites, in this case B, B has the most combination of links. They have the ones with the medium authority, the ones with no authority, all the way through. Google looks at this as they are looking to rank your site. So when you create your site, you want to have a main thought in mind. What what is that thought? In this case, let's think of this site being designed for blue vehicles. So once you've des decided your, your main thought's going to be blue vehicles, you need to have supporting thoughts and supporting pages. You're going to have blue SUVs. You're going to have blue cars, blue 4x4s, just all the other blue vehicles that support the main concept of the site, which is blue vehicles. Then as the site builds and you've created pages, those sites, those pages all link back up. And they either link back up one level, two levels, every level. Depends on how you design the site and what, what the focus is. But for right now, we're going to have at least one link going back up to every site for this overview. Okay. So as time goes on, all of these pages that you create that link back up create more power to that top page. And you're, again, you're going to have general to specific coming down. Blue vehicles, specific to general coming back up. Blue cars linking to blue vehicles. Okay. Okay. Then what will happen is your, your main pages, the pages with the most links internally, create what's referred to in the industry as link juice. So that page becomes strong. And then once you've done that, once you've got a page that has strength, you use that page to link out to other pages that you want to rank. This is one of the big things about creating microsites in the first place and creating assets. You want to create sites and pages of value that have this link juice that then you have control of and can push to pages and sites you want to rank. So starting with on-site SEO. On-site SEO is about building, and it's about building relevance. Relevance, in this case, your site needs to be very relevant to blue vehicles. Each page needs to be relevant to its own specific piece. So if it's blue trucks, then blue four-wheel four drive trucks, and then blue four-wheel drive trucks with extended cabs, etc., etc., and it becomes more detailed as it goes down. Each one of those is very relevant for that specific piece. Then you want to add content. You want to build content. And building content, it doesn't have to be overnight. When you create a site, it can be one one page, then you add another page, then you add another page, and you just keep adding content, and all that content needs to have value. The more value your site has, the more people are going to link to it and go to it, and it's just going to create its own SEO, its own search engine optimization by just having that value. Then there's off-site SEO, and off-site SEO is about building authority. Authority, like I showed you on that page rank graph, is having the site that has the most links to it. So, and that's links from other sites. And it, to get that, you need to have backlinks to your site. Okay. Um, and you want those backlinks to come from relevant content sites. So just like you want on your own site to have blue 4x4s linking to blue vehicles, you want a blue 4x4 site linking to blue vehicles or blue rims linking to blue 4x4s. However it is, you want to have as relevant as possible and you want those sites to have high authority. And what I mean by high authority is you want, again, as the page rank graph shows, the yellow one here 
has a lot more authority than the purple one and the green has more authority than the purple one and they link back up so these sites would have high authority and they have backlinks to them so those are the kind of sites you want to work on now one of the things with off-site linking is very similar to your on-site let's say you have a page on your site and that page has relevance and that relevance is for again blue four by fours and you want that to be linked to from something that has relevance to blue four by fours and you get sites off-site that are linking to that page that have relevance to blue 4 by 4s that page is going to rank and you're going to get link juice on that page that then links up to your home page and everything kind of builds and builds and builds it's the main concept of seo and if you keep that in mind all the time and always add value and get links and create internal links to that point of value point of relevance it'll just always evolve for you Okay, so a couple things you need to do. Again, create valuable content. Uh, you already know that valuable content is going to get people to want to backlink to you. The next thing you want to do is participate in blogs and forums and social sites in general because if you participate, you can create your own links from within those sites. People start to know who you are and then you build relationships. And as you build relationships, people will want to link to you. And as people want to link to you, your site just gets stronger and stronger. We're going to go over even more on how to do this over time as we build sites. But I wanted to start with this because I think this is an extremely important part of the the building blocks of a website and, an, and a search engine optimized presence. Thank you very much and uh, we'll see you in the next video.